What Nina did was unforgivable, and she's going to have to pay for those choices the rest of her life. But what she committed was against me, and we've, we've made peace with that. So you've forgiven her? Yes, I have. So then let me ask you this. Do you think that Nina should be barred from Wiley's life? That's for my son, Michael, and Willow to decide. I'm asking you. You're on the stand. Do you think that she should be a part of Wiley's life? Yes, I absolutely think that Wiley should be a part of Nina's life. No further questions? I'm so sorry. And I'm not surprised. Don't worry. I'll handle this. Mr. Corinthos, you, uh, you have said, and I understand, that you were reticent to learn about the life you left behind here in Port Charles. But you were wearing a wedding ring. So did you not suppose that perhaps you were married or had been married? Did you have any evidence that you had children or a family that loves you? No, Diane. Would that have changed the calculus of whether or not you wanted to return to your former life, to rediscover it? It may have. But Nina Reeves kept from you the fact that you had children, did she not? Yeah, she did. Never mentioned that you had grandchildren? No. Never mentioned that you actually share a grandchild? Uh, objection! Asked and answered. Overruled. So Nina Reeves not only harmed you, she harmed your entire family. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is testifying. Sustained. I'll rephrase. When you learned of it, did it make you angry that Nina Reeves also kept you from your other grandchild, Rocco Falconeri? Yes, it did, Diane. Did it make you angry that she kept you from your children, Michael, Dante, Christina, Donna, Avery? Yes, but we got past it. You got past it, Mr. Corinthos. Did you ever inquire as to whether or not your family has gotten past it? Speaking of family, speaking of children, let's talk about how your daughter Avery was brought into this world. <laughs>